without going into all the extra detail, let's go ahead and create a repository. So I want you to, you can just click on the little plus sign and it'll say create new. And we're going to create a new repository. When you create a new repository, you should give it a name. Now, in the case of our class, we were doing rock, paper, scissors, or we were doing a, an RPG game, or we had several options students could choose. It all fell under the Wild Loops project category. And of course, this is period four, so I'm going to put that down. And then I'll just put Wild Loops project. I'm going to keep it generic. Now, you notice it'll say it's going to actually add little dashes in between those, those characters, wherever it was a space before. And notice, great repository names are short and memorable. All right? So uh, anyway, so you can give a little description here, whatever you want to put on there. Now, if you have a, a paying account, you can make it private. Um, the other thing is you have this thing called a readme. You can initialize it. Um, and we can do that. And on here, notice it says it'll let you immediately clone the repository to your computer. Skip it if you're importing an existing repository. Okay. You're already working on a file, but we're going to start with the repository first. Next, you have a couple things here. We can choose a README file if you want. If you click it, it'll open up some options. And, and a README is just going to be information about your project. For our case, we're just going to leave that alone for now. Ours is a very simple project. I, you know, In future ones, we'll start doing that. Okay. The other thing is if you're going to do certain projects, you, mu you should probably add what's called a git ignore file. Now I'm going to scroll down here a little bit so you can see. Um, they're all titled by different types of projects. If you're going to do a C++ project, for example, it's going to have certain files that will be ignored and it won't track them. So it's, it's a good step to figure out what language you're using. In our case, it's Python. And then go ahead and add a git ignore. Now there shouldn't be a problem in our particular projects because we're keeping simple programs but if you're using PyCharms or some other program that might generate other folders and files you probably should have a git ignore file and it will ignore anything that's not needed to be under version control and then so that's what I did I clicked public I gave it a name I, I left the description out I can add it later it's public I did not initialize with the readme but I did add a Python git ignore and I'm going to ignore license, but if I wanted to, there's different kinds of licenses that you can do, like Creative Commons, Universal, et cetera. So if you do want to put a license on there, go ahead and add one now. So at this point, I have a repository. I have a place to store my project, but I don't have it connected to my actual project. So, um, but I do have a git ignore file, and that's an important step. What I'm going to do is I am going to do what's called clone. I'm going to get a clone of this on my local computer. Okay, So I need to do the clone, um, and then I'm going to choose a folder to clone to it. And we're going to use git bash for this. Okay, So the first thing you might want to do is you notice down on the side, on the right, it says HTTPS clone URL. You want to click that little thing. Actually, you're going to do that in a moment, not yet. Wait on that. But keep that handy. I want you to go ahead and open up git bash. We're going to use git bash this time. In a future tutorial, I'll, I'll probably walk through git GUI. I prefer bash. It just I just do. A couple things about git bash is it is a uh, it is a console application, so you're running command line commands. Unix commands will work on here, such as cd for change directory. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the directory of the folder you're going to work on using CD. But we need to go over that right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your project folder. So you got to find where that project is. Let me get that. Okay, everybody, I've got my, uh, I'm in my student folder. What I want to do is I need to, I need to put my repository in a folder that nothing else is in currently. I don't want to. I don't want to put my repository where there's already existing files. It's going to mess with my other files. So your project should be in its own folder. So I'm going to start by creating a new folder, and on this case, I'll call it the Wild Loops Project. Okay. And on the Wild Loops Project, I'm going to open that folder, and now I want to get the path. So I want to copy the address of that folder. It's a big long address. 
I'm going to right click on here and choose copy. Or of course you can just click uh, when you see the folder like that, uh, you can just right click on the folder, say copy address. Okay. Now go to git bash, type CD, single quote. Now here comes the interesting part here. I can right click with my mouse and get the path. Um, if you do not have administrator privileges and you're not running as uh, an administrator, you will have to add one little t one little thing first. Right click on the blue window at the top and choose properties and make sure you check quick edit mode. You got to check that. And when I click OK, it's going to give me an error saying it won't modify the shortcut. That's OK because um, I'm not running as administrator and it just says it's not going to permanently remember what I did. So that's a step you're going to have to do if you don't have administrator rights. You'll have to do that every time you open up Git Bash. But once it's open and you made that change, you don't have to do it again. So let me repeat the step of what I did here. I typed out CD, I put a single quote, and I right clicked, and it gave me what I copied. And I hit another single quote, and then I'm going to hit enter. And there we go, Wild Oaks Project. So now I'm in that folder. Okay, so at this point, I have a new folder. Here it is. Nothing's inside. The folder is empty. I am, I have gone to that folder using the CD command on git bash. From here on out, the commands we're going to do are git commands, and they always start with the word git. So what I want to do is I want to connect this repository right here with this folder. And we're going to do it by cloning our repository. Now watch what happens. On the far right, on GitHub, on your project, you'll have an HTTPS clone URL. I want you to click the little thing to copy it to the clipboard. Click it. It should say copied. Go back to Git Bash. Type git clone and then right click that address. So when you hit enter, it should say cloning into, and now in this case, I've got a problem with a config file, and I'm not sure what's happening here. Origin, okay, I think I did the wrong, let me check something out here, hold on. Okay, I got the resolution to the answer, and there it is right here. It says git config global bool add http dot SSL verify false. So if you get that fatal origin and it has something to do with the repository, you need to change the configuration. This is it. If you're my student, actually, I wrote that on the board a, over a year ago and I left it on there and I'm glad I did because then I'd have to go digging for it. So try those two commands now. So one other thing you need to do is once you've done this, it should say you're done. Now I want to show you my folder now. What you notice now is I have the Wild Loops project, and now I have this P4 Wild Loops project. That's the actual repository. So I'm going to go into that folder. And in that folder, I have my git ignore file. It's there. So it, it pulled it from the repository. I didn't create it on the local file. I just pulled it. And then I have a little hidden folder that says .git. And you might not see it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. So if you don't see it, I want you to click on, if you're on a Windows computer anyway, I want you to click on Organize, and then it's Folder and Search Options. And then under View, where it says Hidden Files and Folders, you want to check Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And then, of course, while you're at it, make sure you do not have Hide Extensions for Node File Types checked. Because if you do that, you won't even see the .git. But now I can see a little folder in .git, and I have my git ignore file. And if you have that, you're ready to put your project inside.